What's up, Croatia? My name is Sergio. John. And my name is Nina. And today's topic is going to be about... Foundations. Exactly. Foundations. What do you think about foundations? Foundations is super important. Super important. I'll give you an example. Sometimes I go out to dance. Actually, I go out two, three times a week. Before? Before the corona. Uh, <laughs> and, but, um, so I go out, I dance, you know, I chat with people. I dance with beginners, with the advanced, anything. Sometimes I chat with people and somebody goes, the typical things that somebody says is, you know what, I don't take classes, I, I just want to have fun, I'm on the floor, I don't want to, I, I want to dance with everybody, but I want to have fun, no classes. And what do we think about that? Yikes. Exactly, and I'll tell you why. I mean, it's very important to have fun, and I like it, I like to dance with people. Yeah, that's the, the beginning. <laughs> the beginning is always like that. But, think like this. You, 30% or 20% just want to have fun. The other 70% people, they take classes, they work on their foundation, they, they work, let's say they work on their spinning. Yes. So they want to spin somebody. And I want to spin her, but she haven't done her spinning lessons. So I try to spin her, she get off balance, oh shit, and we lose our connection. Another one, let's say I work on my Afro room by the, the grooves and everything and I feel the music and she may be not feeling that part and we try to connect but you know it's like a real relationship somebody works on their foundation someone else thinks the relationship is good but doesn't work on it then suddenly a crash comes and you go like oh I thought I was doing everything right and that's why it's so important because it takes two to tango for sure for sure. And with that said, what kind of things can we work on on the foundation? I mean, just in general, in dance, you, it doesn't have to be salsa, but balance is super important. You have to understand your balance and your, <laughs> your weight it. transfer, uh, because then you can uh, shift your weight fast without, uh, and react fast without uh, like, feel like you're going to be stiff and fall. And you know you have to react fast on the social dance where everything especially, comes from, you know. Especially in salsa and all the couple dances where you are, um, you, you are depending on the other one, depending, not weight-wise, like, but you're, you're leading and following. So you have to be uh, sure about your own balance and your own centered and be placed the way you need to be to be able to react when something is given to you. Exactly. And vice versa, because the, follow, uh, the leader can also be, uh, depending on uh, the, um, how the body is moving in that part, is that he can be very uh, hard, stiff, and that can be translated to me as very rough. Exactly. Exactly. Like a relationship. You think <laughs> she have fun, but she's not having fun. So I have to work on, you know, not being too rough, or, you know, and that's why I take classes. And even us, we're not finished yet. We always try to take classes. We always even sometimes take private classes to clean up our foundation because, you know, sometimes when you do something too many times on the social floor, you know, you get a little bit off balance and then you polish it up again. Yeah. So um, what we would say, always practice your balance, uh, your weight transfer, then of course all the the, the grooves. The grooves. It's, Take the Afro I mean, the, classes. The, the grooves in general is the first thing we would say as a feeling for whatever dance style you are doing. You have to connect with the music, and uh, connect with music is also that you have to listen to the music, understand, break it down to to um, make it more uh, available for your for your system to connect with exactly. the music. Exactly. And uh, with that said, you can start also with your grooves uh, because the grooves is what makes the dance. Exactly. And also you can take spinning lessons. That's very important, especially in a couple dances that goes around a lot, you know. So spinning lessons, footwork lessons only for the feet. So the, because you work on the, those feet makes your balance and everything more comfortable. Exactly, okay. so, so be able to do fast footwork, you need to be connected with, with the upper party. Exactly. Yeah, party. <laughs> party. That's oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I will say upper part and then upper body. Okay. <laughs> upper party. Mm. Uh, the, your, this part, your center, and uh, it has to be uh, connected with the footwork. Exactly. Otherwise, you will just be 
stumbling around. And also all the isolation to keep one body uh, um, on, the, on one place while the other is moving. Exactly. And I'm just fooling around here. And but that is actually to understand your movement. Uh, what is moving? Because sometimes you're like, oh, I'm just moving my, my torso, but your head is going like this. And then it's, you have fun. Oh shit! Oh my god, I have yeah, fun. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> and then maybe it's not so fun because you're gonna crash on side. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, that was a little bit about foundation. So if you get those teachers in your community, that's very boring. That in the in the and picky on those things. Yes, take those classes. Appreciate those Appreciate guys. Appreciate those classes. Go like hallelujah. I think your class is so boring because we're doing the same thing again and again. Thank those them. classes. That's so, the one they have to take. Yes. It's so easy to actually go for the other ones because it's, it's fast food and we are very, uh, nowadays especially, we're very, um, uh, we want fast food. Like, next, 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 next picture, next picture. But we have to really go back. I'm not saying that it was better before, but we just need to go back. Exactly. <laughs> and just appreciate uh, taking something and doing something for a long time. Exactly. Because then it gets into your system and then you're going to be bam. Oh. Okay, the next one, foundation-wise, is about... History. Exactly. So, what do you think about history? History is very important to understand because then you can also, if we just take the dance, you can develop your dance even more because you have a, a stronger connection to what actually has been uh, developing during generations of time. So if the uh, 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 history, I mean the dance is the, the top of the iceberg, the beneath the ocean, that's the history. And I can give you an example, like uh, uh, sometimes, or many times, I can look at a dancer and I see that if this uh, is the roots of the tree, and uh, I can see that the, the roots are just connected a little bit with the, um, with the ground. So if a wind comes, this one is gonna fly. Like let's say it has a bad day or uh, oh, I don't feel uh, good today on the social dance well, It's going to be bad then. But if the roots are connected real deep, knowing their history, music-wise, you know, everything, it doesn't matter what kind of day you have, you're still going to pull off a really good uh, dance that day. So it's harder to take that one from the ground. So really good to have your foundation deep with the history. And also that is to understanding your society and what is happening nowadays is also based if you're understanding the history of something that you're already connected to, like exactly. the dance. And mo most of the music comes from pain, from, from different things that happen in, in life. And really it's, good, it's really important to understand that and to even uh, for you to, uh, if, when you know it, to spread around where this dance comes from, otherwise it's going to be an empty dance. Yeah. So work on that history and your foundation together with those boring classes gonna be <laughs> boom bow pow. <laughs>